Welcome back. Well, last year's summer drought left a lot of lawns thirsty and brown. So what can you do now to revive your green space? Melinda Myers is the plant doctor and she's here with more. Nice to have you back. It's great to be here. And despite the weather outside, it is spring and it's time <laughs> to talk gardening, even though we can't do a lot We're right keep now. thinking that <laughs> way That's anyway. right. And so I think everybody's, uh, I've been out and about making the rounds, talking to a lot of gardeners and everyone's a little nervous because lawns took a beating, gardens took a beating, and it's a lot of wait and see. But we can spend this time as we're waiting for the snow to recede, getting ready for the season ahead, gathering our materials, kind of get a plan in place. And so lawns, big problem. Yeah, because I mean, they were, they took a beating last year, like mm -hmm. we said. I mean, there was, everything was brown, you know, and I think people got to the like, why even bother watering? Right. And so if you're going to do some work this spring, and hopefully you will, you do need to commit to water because whether you seed or sod or overseed, you're going to have to make sure that seed has some moisture so it'll germinate. So one of the things you can do minimally, if your lawn is thin, consider overseeding. If you have bare spots, you can buy a lawn patch or make your own. So a bucket of topsoil, Okay. And a handful of grass seed suited for your lawn, okay? And then just mix it in. Is that what you call overseeding? Well, this is going to be spot seeding for bare areas. Okay. Overseeding, you just kind of take the spreader and go over the lawn. If you've core aerated, the I best see. thing to do. Okay. But hopefully, you just have small patches. So then we've roughened up that dead grass. We're going to use this mix, sprinkle it over, and keep it moist. And that's how we're going to repair small and medium sized dead areas. The big ones, consider adding compost and tilling it in and spreading grass seed. If more than 60% of your lawn is dead, bare, or full of weeds, it might be time to start over. I know. <laughs> this is, yes. right. That's and a big project. Yeah. It is a big project, but you look at it that, you know, probably if it died, it was struggling anyway, so now you can fix the soil, get your lawn going, get a better quality grass seed going or sod and fix it. Now, what about some of the plants, like the perennials? If some of them have browned out, are they going to come back? You know, that's the biggest question I get other than lawns, <laughs> and it's going to be a wait and see. Established plants have a good shot of coming back. The new plants, um, depending on how much of the root system. But let's say your, your garden comes back, but not as good as you want. Top dress, spread a couple inches of compost around the plants over the soil surface. And then a lot of gardeners may recognize this auger bit. You can usually buy it by the bulbs in the that fall. That looks like something they use <laughs> Ice fishing. Well, maybe that, exactly. you know, you can tell I'm the gardener, not the fisher person. Use this on your cordless drill and go in between your perennials. And what that will do oh. is it aerates, it gets the compost down, and it will greatly improve your garden. Weeds are the other issue because we all know they did great last yeah. year. So take a milk jug or a soda bottle or, you know, a water bottle, put it over your weed to protect your good plants use a total vegetation killer ah. so then it drips ah. down i always wondered how people you know when you're trying to spot treat yes. how you make sure you don't kill the good stuff yeah and this is a total vegetation killer like a roundup and the good part about this is when it hits the soil it breaks down so the roots of your good plants don't pick it up but if it gets on the leaves of your good plants, you do have an issue. So this is a fast, easy way, you know, get a few bottles. If you have more weeds than perennials, you might want to pre protect your perennials and spray the weeds around it. So that's a great way to do it. Water you know, is important. If we have another dry year, though I figure we're talking drought, we'll probably have floods this year, right? <laughs> yeah. But in case it is dry again, make a commitment. Get out the rain barrels. Capture rain when we have it hook up a soaker hose and then just open up the spigot and it'll run through the garden and water it and it can take all day to empty that rain barrel it's okay and soaker hoses um, whether you're using a rain barrel or hooking it up to a traditional hose and faucet allows you to put the water where it's needed so I, I've, I've never had one of these it, it the water comes out through the, the there are little hose holes in there oh, and it's got lots okay. of little holes and so it just basically slowly weeps into the soil you moisten that top six to eight inches where the the root zone of the plants are and it's great because you can hook it up slowly water do other chores and then stop so a lot of gardeners that were successful had these anchored into all their beds so they just moved the garden hose around hooked it up these were in place makes it easier than dragging the sprinkler which i don't know about you but i end up wetter than the garden yeah. does when i'm dragging a sprinkler as well um in case the season is slow right uh, floating row covers this is sold as remay or harvest guard okay. when you plant you can jump start the season use this over your grass seed to speed up germination and keep the birds out or when you're planting we often have cool nights and so mm -hmm. you put your plants in, loosely cover, anchor it with stones, it traps the heat, 
protects plants down to 24 degrees, lets air, light, and water through. So you don't have to pull it off to vet. You don't have to pull it off to water. If it rains, your plants get water. So how long do you leave it on for? Just overnight each night? You or? can leave it on indefinitely. So let's say you put your tomatoes out and you jump start the season a little bit. Put it on. I leave mine on through June sometimes wow. because I can then get an earlier harvest by even planting later because I speed things up. Farmers in Vermont used this in the 80s, covered acres with this stuff. If you can imagine that, they were harvesting tomatoes the time they normally were just setting blossom. So they jump started the season wow. greatly. Yeah, you kind of create a little greenhouse exactly. effect. I get that. You're going to be at the Realtors 89th Annual Home and Garden right. Show, I know, coming up. And in fact, you're going to present your garden revival there. It's a solutions um, oriented right. um, seminar, which I think is great. And then you're actually going to take questions, right? You bet. So I'll be on board all afternoon. So give you a little bit of an introduction, talk about some things you can do more depth than we did here, answer your questions until they turn the lights off if I need to. <laughs> <laughs> that's absolutely fantastic. And that's going on this Saturday, the 23rd. Um, okay. And people should catch you between 2 and 3 and then stick around from 3 to 4 to ask those questions. I know you're also going to be doing your garden walk um, that you lead where you see what's blooming in the gardens, um, start a list of colorful spring beauties that people might want to add to their right. garden. You look at all different kinds of plants and ground covers, towering trees. Um, so I think that's a great thing for people to take advantage of. And you do ask people to make reservations for that. Right, exactly. And I think we're giving away a gift certificate as well to yeah, one of your viewers. Yeah, for two tickets. So. I think that's fantastic. So to register for that, you should call the number that we just had up on the screen because that's Wednesday, May 15th or Tuesday, May 21st. So coming up when it gets a little warmer, yes. um, we hope. <laughs> and here's how people can take advantage of that pair of tickets that you were so nice to share with us for the Spring Revival Garden Walk with Melinda. Caller number seven this morning wins two tickets. So call us right now at 414-799-4444. Always great to see Good you. Good to see you, and spring is on the way. All right, you promise? <laughs> I'm hoping. <laughs> thanks, Melinda. Okay, yeah, exactly. Thanks. Good to Good see to you. See you.